You can do this. You're going to beat DL-56. I'm not so sure. You did it before. No, I didn't. Chris started supplying me before he even released me from the detox unit. What if my system shuts down without the drug, huh? Frank, I'm going to wean you off gradually. I'm going to be with you the whole time. I need a shot. Now. Okay, fine. Roll up your sleeve. I'm going to give you half a dose. Well, thank God. Don't think it's always going to be this easy. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. I feel better just knowing that it's on its way. How am I going to live without this stuff? I was asking myself the same question when I was trying to kick speed. But you do it. Look, if you had to choose between DL-56 and the baby that Julie's carrying, I you think... You know about the baby? You mentioned it when you were sick. So, what's more important to you, Frank? This stuff or your baby? Julie and the baby. And you know how you're going to get through it. So where are we going? You'll find out. Marsha, keep a close eye on her. As Dr. Collins suggests in his book, she is a hot one. Her name is Julie. Shut it! Why? He may have you fooled, but I'm not. You can't make me go along with this. You're on the wrong end of the gun to be making declarations about what you will or won't do. You'll do whatever my brother says. Why? You're gonna kill me anyway. I might as well say what I think. Eve, it really doesn't matter what Greg wants to call her right now. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Yeah, and a bad one sure stinks up the room. You're tough enough to take anything life dishes out. At the moment, I feel like a wimp. Well, you're gonna feel better. I have a banana bag full of thiamine, multivitamins. I have magnesium sulfate. I know that the flu is gone, but I, I want. I am up against the sweats, cardiac dysrhythmia, and maybe even convulsions. And you are freeing me vitamins and minerals. Gee, thanks. I feel so much better. Okay. Well, then I've got uh, anti-seizure meds. How about some diazepam? That is not what I need. Karen, can't you see? The half dose you gave me didn't even take the edge off! Frank, that's all I can give you. But the symptoms are coming off fast. I can feel it. Frank, you knew this was going to be hard. Give me some DL-56. Please. Please. Remember what we're doing here. Oh. Oh. Oh, I feel like you've got hot coals in my stomach. If I don't get another if shot. I give you soon. another shot, Frank. I'm just going to be delaying the inevitable. Why don't you just here drink your juice and. I just... don't want any damn juice! I'm not intimidated by you. I don't want to hurt you, Karen. I know. I won't let you. Look. We gotta build some trust between us, okay? I trust you not to hurt me. 
You gotta trust me to take care of you. Of course, I trust you. I just, I can't concentrate. I can't focus. All I can think about is another shot. Fine, fine. Then let's think about it, okay? Let's think about how fun that rush is when you, when you first take that shot. And then let's, let's think about how, how miserable you are when it wears off. Let's think about how low and desperate you are right now, craving it, letting it control your life, Frank. Think about that. Shut off the damn music, it's driving me nuts. Frank, all you have to do is stay clean for one more minute. You can do that, right? Yeah, I can do anything for 60 seconds, but the craving is still going to be there at the end of it. You can beat DL-56. You can. Look, Karen, I know you're trying to help me, but I'm sorry, I can't do this. I thought I could, but I can't. Look, I know this is hard. I do. But I swear to you, it gets better. Okay? Listen to me. We're just getting started. You cannot quit now. Felicia, really, I am 100% better. So don't worry about me. You concentrate on getting Matt better, okay? Okay. Oh, um, I gotta go. So just give the girls my love and save some for you. All right. Okay, Ta. Hey. Wow, they're gorgeous. How's Mac? Uh, well, I guess he made it through his second surgery. But I'm not going there. He's going to be fine. I'm not going to think anything bad could possibly happen. It won't. Yeah, uh, well, I know you'd be depressed, so I brought you goodies to cheer you up. Clothes, shoe catalogs. <laughs> Very sweet. And I already found something in a catalog. I was looking at it. Look at this. Isn't it so cute for Serena? I got one sweater in every single color for her. Will she love it? Oh, she'll, she'll love it, but she's running out of closet space I'll here. I'll find some. Now, listen, I, I made a list of things for you to do. I need you to go pick up pink and white streamers, and I need you to get some candles. I already ordered the cake for the belated birthday party. I want it perfect. And also Christmas. Big tree. I need a really huge, huge big tree and tinsel, and I, I need all that stuff. Will you do it? You got everything in control here, don't you? Well, of course I do. What if I had to do else? All I've been doing is sitting in bed. I want to get out. I've just been planning birthday parties and Christmas, and I love it, but I want out. I know. Well, um, Serena was already in school when I was released. I can't wait to see her. I know. Me too. Oh, you know, these people here don't believe me, but I'm completely better. I want them to know I'm better so I can go home. Well, I can't wait till Christmas. When um, Serena comes down the stairs and she sees you, she's going to be an excited little girl. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. We need to talk about this. Um, going back there and everything, we haven't really discussed when I was so out of it and I started rambling and what I really said about you and about me and about Kevin. There's nothing to discuss. Listen, you're always a little, you know, screwy in the head here, so uh, I can't take what you say seriously when you're, well, let alone when you have a hundred four degree temperature. Scott, let's talk about <sighs> Excuse me, may I interrupt? No, please, come in. Come in. What's up? Julie Dublin's missing. What? That's not possible. She escaped. She was being brought here to the hospital. Why was she being brought to the hospital? It doesn't matter now. We found a guard and a driver tied up by the side of the road. The ambulance was found abandoned a few miles away. Oh, my God. Do you think Julie's going to follow in Cooper's footsteps and go after Serena? Don't worry about it. We sent my men over to, to Serena's school. She's fine. Thank oh. you. Yeah. So where do you think she's headed, then? Who knows? We do know she got away with the help of a friend. Well, no. Julie doesn't have any friends left. How? Take a wild guess. Same person who helped her murder in the first place. No. N Greg Cooper is dead, right? His body was never found. Now we know why. The guard positively identified him. Kevin. We have to warn Kevin. That's why I came here first. I thought he might still be here. I'll call the lighthouse now. Thanks. Well, fooled me, didn't... I thought we, we could start looking forward to Christmas and to birthdays and normal life, but no, that's not going to happen, is it? It's just not going to happen. Listen to me, all right? I will buy Fort Knox, and I'll lock you and Serena inside there before I let that little Tim Cooper get at you ever again. Well, they must know by now that your sister is missing. 
What's your escape plan? Oh, let me worry about that. And don't forget your laptop, floppy disks, and anything else handy to feed your muse. You, help him. He's moving too slowly. Am I scheduled for a creative writing seminar that I don't know about? Didn't you ever read Misery? By Stephen King? Well, I wouldn't want to keep you from your creativity. Oh, thanks for making us feel so comfortable. Greg and I have something very exciting in store for you. You know, Marcia, I had hoped that you were beginning to see that Greg is not helping you. You never made me doubt my brother's love for me. What are you doing? I'm looking for my travel toothbrush. More likely another pen to stab me with. Well, it's a shame that my technique isn't as good as yours, isn't it? I don't have to put up with your mouth anymore. Hey! Give me my purse! The temper? The temper, sis. We don't want to start the fun too early. Why don't you go see what we can take from the fridge, huh? There you go. Now help him! Obviously, your therapy with Julie didn't go very well. Well, we were just getting started. Eve, I want you to take it easy. We have to try and keep them calm. Someone is bound to start looking for us. Yeah, but what if they don't make it in time? All right, come on, hurry it up. I, I'm trying to help. I just can't find my power cord. Oh, well, let me help you search. You know, semi-smart people sometimes forget where they put things. Let's see. No cord here. Or here. My, my. Is this what you're looking for? Why, yes, that's it. Thank you. Marsha, stalling time is over. Oh, and don't forget your copy of General Homicide. Mine's getting a little worn thin. Don't you dare. But then again, if you're dying to speak to someone, Go right ahead. Good choice, bro. Let's go. You find anything? Uh, thanks for letting me tag along. Yeah, no problem. I mean, look at this place. Did you ever see Kevin's place like this? He's a neat freak. He'd never leave his place like this unless he had to. His computer is gone. Yeah. Mm. What's that? It's Eve's prescription pad. She wouldn't just leave this thing laying around. So what are you trying to tell us? That that lunatic Cooper and Julie got here first. Ooh. <laughs> Make yourselves at home. I'm sure you remember the place. Regrettably. I haven't been here since Lucy and Rex's engagement party. Oh, you're not keeping much company with Lucy for these days. What's the problem, Doc? I'm surprised the place still has electricity and furniture. Ah, well, it's been my base of operations since Jasmine Island. I rented under an assumed name to recuperate from my header off the cliff into the water. You know, by the way, I, I really didn't appreciate that. Yes, I'm sure you didn't. It was an accident, Greg. So we're here. Now what? Ah, first, you unpack. I have the perfect workplace set up for you. All right. You will not be bored, my brother. I admit, Greg, I have no idea what's going on in your mind. You have me completely fascinated. No, 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 bro. It's about what's going on in that sick brain of yours. I'm not your brother, Greg. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, you say. <sighs> in any case, you wrote an okay mystery before. But now, with the help of Marsha and me, you're going to write a much better sequel. <laughs> well, I hope we have some kind of an outline to work well, with. Oh, yeah. Right here. <laughs> it will be the unfolding of the actual general homicide murders, as masterminded by yours truly. Okay. 
Here we go. Mm -hmm. How many do you want? Frank. It's no use. I can't do this. I think you can. Come on. Do you realize that I am ready? Walk out that door. I take the first drug on the street that I can get my hands on. If you do that, I can't stop you. But it might help you to think about the people that love you and need you, Frank. Your mom, Joe, Lark, Julie, All and All I can baby. think about now is how I feel. If I don't get something soon, I am going to die. And if you do get something, you're going to die. Slowly, by degrees. Sure be staying here and listening to you. take on water all the time. For this long? I don't know why they haven't started the bilge pumps. Well, maybe they don't know we're leaking. I'm sure they do. Hold on. Hello out there! Anyone, we're taking on water! Joe! Joe, they're so busy with the storm. The guy who hit us in here has probably forgotten about us. They could have all abandoned ship and we wouldn't even know it. I couldn't go through with it. I want to do this anymore. Help me stop, please. Of course. There's gotta be something around here that's gonna lead us to Cooper. You think they got Victor as well? No, I heard at the hospital that he went away for the holidays. Cooper and Julie are way too hot right now. They couldn't have gotten far. Hello? Scott, why are you answering Kevin's phone? Because he's not here. Where is he? We don't know, but we think that they uh, left against their will. Who's they? Well, we found Eve's prescription pad. There were signs of a struggle here. I think Cooper and, and Julie got here first. This just cannot be happening. Kevin has to be all right. It just has to be. These are itty-bitty bracelets. Ow! With great big batteries. Try to leave the house, and you'll get a nasty shock. Might even kill you. It looks good on you, Eve. Oh, gee, thanks. Finally, you're lending me something to wear and not complaining about it. Oh, ladies, please. Ah, I also have Rex's security system up and going, so... You're electronically chained to your desk, so to speak. Marsha, let's get the blinds. Maybe the phone lines are working. Great, we can call out for pizza. No, my computer has a built-in modem. If I can find a jack, I can log onto the internet and let someone know where we are. Oh, I'm motivated. Believe me, if there's a jack around here, I'll find it. Come on, anybody out there? We're taking on water. Open the door. Keep moving. Come on out there, open up! Don't! If we die, you will never know what happened to me. He'll think I abandoned him. Listen to me. Neil is smarter than that, all right? But we are not going to die. You promise? I promise. Listen to me. You will get to see Neil, and I will still get to marry Karen. Too late! Come back to 
cargo hold has taken too much water. We are sinking. 